Hey guys, what's up? Mai here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the language tool for TDSM. So basically, the only reason you'd ever want to use this is if you wanted to, you know, for some reason, change the default language that uh, TDSM does share. So this will also change the language that it does show on the server. So what I mean by that, if you opt someone on the server, it's going to say, you know, such and such has been opted or, you know, OP'd in whatever language, you know, you have chosen. So to get this tool, simply go to tdsm.org, click on the forums tab, scroll down to this little box here, and uh, you will see the language tool. Download it, and now I'm going to show you where to... Okay, so once you have downloaded languages.exe, you have to put it in the same folder as your Terraria server.exe. Now, before you run languages.exe to change your language, make sure you run the server for the first time. So you will notice that uh, it does ask you if you would like to exit for editing. If you actually hit yes to this, it won't generate the language file just yet. You actually have to wait until it goes through and uh, actually generates a map, or at least starts generating a map. So uh, we can just close this down now, it's not too important. But as you can see now, we do have a languages.xml file. So uh, this is basically where all of the text that is included in the program is stored and the languages.exe basically just modifies this. So uh, once you know, you're comfortable and once everything's done, I personally would probably wait till the map had finished, you know, kind of going through uh, setting up instead of closing it midway like I did. Run languages.exe. Okay, so now that it's up, you have this huge list of languages to select from. So uh, this does use the Bing engine to actually translate all of this information. So pretty much anything that's supported by Bing, uh, you know, will be supported by this. And it is really, really important for you guys to know, if you don't have the language pack installed on your computer, it might not work perfectly. So for example, I don't have any of the Chinese, uh, you know, simplified or traditional language packs installed on my computer. So if I were to use this language pack, all I'm going to see is little squares everywhere, and uh, you know it's, it's going to be incoherent. It's, it's literally not going to you know be anything. But if we change it to something else that uh, you know we're more likely to have, uh, you know, say probably Norwegian or you know German. Let's, let's go with Germany. Uh, you know, just click generate. So do keep in mind that this will take a while. Now it does say five minutes, but usually it will take a lot. You know, a lot less than that. But it does depend on your internet connection because it does have to use an online uh, app to actually convert all this information. So I'm just going to click OK, pause the video, then I'll show you off the new language. OK, so as you guys can see, it has finished uh, you know, generating all the things. It does say 121 nodes were converted. So just click OK, and then simply exit out of it. So now, the next time you're on the Terraria server.exe, it should be in German. Now, uh, keep in mind, uh, all of this generation stuff here, that's still going to stay in English. Uh, the only things that are being changed are really kind of the important things. So, basically the commands, things like that. All of the command text, you know, has been converted. So now we will wait for this world. Okay, so now if I were to type help into the console, all of the commands will stay the same because the commands do not change ever. The commands are always as they are. However, all of the information and all of the help and tooltips, they are all going to be in the language that you have chosen to convert to. So as you can see, all of these are in German. Now keep in mind, it is still a work in progress. So like I said before, things like these, at the moment, they don't get converted. However, in our later updates, they will be uh, getting converted. And uh, keep in mind, TDSM, it updates automatically. If you run it and it's not up to date, it'll just re-download uh, you know, the most up-to-date version. You can disable that through the server.properties. But uh, yeah, you know, that's really helpful for you guys to know that, you know, you don't actually really have to change anything, uh, you know, as far as TDSM goes. You may have to re-download a languages.exe, though, if that is updated. But anyway, if you guys like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe. And make sure you go check out tdsm.org.